Hi, how's it going? Uh, let's pray unto the Father. Dear Heavenly Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, to come before you, I just ask that you please open our ears to hear and our, on our eyes to see. Father God, I just ask that your Holy Spirit direct every single word that come out from my mouth. And Father God, I just ask that you inspire my mind, anoint our heads with the blood of Jesus Christ, with the oil of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, cover us the blood of Jesus Christ. Forgive us of all our sins as we ask for forgiveness on the sins that we have committed. In Jesus' name, I just ask that you please, O oh Lord, help us to be clean and righteous and holy and help us to do what you ask us to do. And I just ask that you, your Holy Spirit, lead us in this message. In Jesus' name, we pray. And help us be obedient children. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just give you all the praise and glory. Amen. Uh, today, let's read Matthew chapter eight, 18, verse... 3. And said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Jesus said, It's truly, truly, I tell you, if you don't convert and change and become like this little child, you'll never enter the kingdom of heaven. That means you're going to hell directly. So what is this little child? It's like verse 4. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So the key is whosoever humble themselves. Humble themselves. You know, um, there are a lot of people in the world who believe in Jesus Christ. Just because they believe, not necessarily mean they humble themselves as these little children. Who goes into the heaven? It's these little children who humble themselves. What is a little children that humble themselves? I recently got to find out. Okay, uh, there's this grandma that I know. Okay, we evangelized her and she don't want to believe in God. She is like the boss of her whole family. She, she's like, she's a very bossy character. She's very smart. Yeah, I give, give her that. She's very smart. Very controlling person. Very uh, strong person who does not even believe the opinion of experts. This is what they, they tell. She don't even listen to experts. Okay? And uh, there's this event where this uh, pot a cover and thing was broken so I was making this uh, thing with a with a wooden wooden bar and some metal piece and I was gonna hook it underneath and then so that so that it will it'll be like a new cover you know and I made it very plain I planned it out very good and I said hey uh, why don't we try this and then she starts saying no I just, just looked at it and eh, no, it's not gonna work it's not gonna just throw it away garbage so I was like, Lord, I was asking God, I was like, Lord God, what should I do? And I think the Holy Spirit told me, don't do anything. Just don't do anything. Don't do anything. So I just didn't do it. But inwardly, I was like, man, why won't she just try? I mean, I'm almost done. I just need to bend the thing and it'll be finished. Why won't she even try? And I realized Kingdom of heaven, you need to humble yourself and be like the child. Little children, you tell them something and they go like, Oh, really? Let me, let me see. Let me try. Let me, see, let me see. And they see it themselves and they try for themselves. And then they, oh, yeah, that's real. Or they see it themselves and they, they try it themselves and say, Oh, it's not real. I evangelized some atheist. I told my experience, hey, I looked for God in this way, I fasted and prayed and sought the Lord, and I found that God is real. I experienced all these crazy stuff, fire from ceiling of the church, I, I mean, fire, rain, I mean, a miracle is healing, deliverance, I tell all these things. They're like, no, you're lying. You're lying. And I was like, man, why don't they try for themselves? And the word of God is so true. If you don't humble yourself like a little child, 
and try yourself, you'll never enter the kingdom of heaven. So is all the so is a lot of the Christians. I tell them, hey, give the tongues, man. You gotta fast and pray. You see, God, you get it. And many go like, you don't need that. What is that for? That's only for evangelism. When you go to someone, no, it's not. Then why would Paul say, I thank God that I pray in tongues more than all of you. If it's so useless, why did God give to the 120 people that are gathered in that place and, and to make them pray in tongues? And in the first Corinthians church, they're praying in tongues so much so that Paul was like, hey, you know what? You know, you know just calm down, guys. Calm. Why? Why? Why were they? Why did the first church pray so much in tongues? Was it that useless? Or oh, they was like, no, it's, you know, that thing is, oh, did you ever, did you ever ask God for it? And they're like, no, I don't, I don't need to. My pastor said it's not. You know, what? Like a lot of the Jewish, Jewish people, no offense to the Jews, but a lot of the Jewish people, they don't believe in Jesus Christ because they simply just follow what the rabbi is teaching. Oh, the rabbi is no better. Oh, you ask them, why is not? I was like, do you know? I was like, you know what? Just, just talk to the rabbi. Well, did you ever study? No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't study. That's useless. These are not childlike people. You, you understand? This is, this, is a, this is a disease. And, and I tell people, hey, fast. Some people fast. Some people don't think it's important. They don't do it. I tell them, hey, you, you, they have, they have some, some people have problem with lust. I told them, hey, all you need to do is fast and pray in tongues. And whenever you have those wicked thoughts, sprinkle the blood of Jesus. Believe the blood of Jesus covering you. And those thoughts will leave because they are a demonic source. You know, they'll be stopped because of the blood of Jesus Christ. They don't do it. They don't pray. They don't fast. They don't plead the blood of Jesus. What can I do? They, many people have a lot of problems. I say, all you got to do is seek God like crazy. Give your life to God. And then repent of whatever you need to repent. And God will answer your prayers. They don't do it. They just simply don't do it. I'm like, hey, this is how I receive my wife. Hey, this is how I receive my blessings. This is how I receive my miracles. Just do these. They don't do it. They're not like children. Unless your faith is put into action, it's called no faith. It's called a dead, dead faith. It's good as dead, it's good as nothing. Dead is nothing. Not everyone who calls Lord, Lord will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but those who do the will of God. Those who do, put into action, do, just do it. Huh? You, you know the Nike commercial a long time ago? Just do it. Yeah, just do it, man. What are you waiting for? Why are you reasoning for it? Do it. Oh, in your, in your pea brain, in your pea brain, you, you think, is impossible, but it's possible. God's thoughts are higher than ours. God says, pray without ceasing. Pray so that you don't fall into temptation. People don't pray. People don't pray without ceasing. This is Holy Spirit inspired word. Holy Spirit inspired this disciple of God to say, always give thanks, rejoice evermore, and pray without ceasing because this is the will of Jesus Christ for you. And they're like, no. They don't pray. They don't pray without ceasing. Bible's written by habit, Jesus prayed. And they don't pray by habit. Jesus said uh, to those Pharisees, the Pharisees asked him, said Jesus, hey, how come your disciples are not fasting? And Jesus said, can they fast when, they, when the bridegroom is with them? But they will fast. It's a must. It's a will. They will fast when the bridegroom is taken away from them. That means we need to do fasting. And I, and I ask you, strengthens your spirit. If you failed in fasting, do it again and again. You failed again, 
do it again, again and again and again. You do it by habit and it will start rolling. Your engines will start rolling. But I'm never disciplined enough. I'm, I'm, never, I'm raising the baby right now and the baby don't want to go into the crib and, and sleep unless I walk him around. And I, and, I, and I read and heard this from some experts. I heeded their words and they said, you cannot let the kid be undisciplined and spoiled from the beginning. So even though they cry, you need to let them know that no means no. And you're not going to get everything your way. Or else, they'll become very spoiled in the end. They'll, they'll not do anything they that they uh, that you tell them later on to do, you understand? It's it's a very important thing that we do not have our hearts hardened. Let's go to uh, Psalm seventy eight, verse. This is this is about Egypt and uh, and people that 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 uh, left Egypt. The Israel people. God did so much miracles, took out the people, and even after that. God did so much miracles and signs and wonders to protect Israel people. But they did not, verse 8, let's look at that. They, they did not set their minds and, 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 and uh, they did not change their heart. Let's read verse 8, 78. And might not be as their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that set not their heart Alright, and whose spirit was not steadfast with God. Okay, they did not put their spirit in God. They did not set their minds on God. They didn't love Jesus. They didn't love God. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't do it right. They didn't set their heart right with God. They're always rebellious. He's rebe and God sent them prophets, prophets, teachers, prophets, you know, again and again to warn them, hey, you guys are going to be destroyed. And I'm, I'm warning you, all John, from the John the Baptist prophet until the apostle Paul, everybody warns you, forsake the world, follow Jesus, or else you're not going to the kingdom of heaven. Jesus warns again and again, if your hand causes sin, cut, cut it up. It's better for you to lose one hand and to come into heaven than to have the hand and go into hell, than to be thrown in hell. hell. Okay? Unless you repent. Jesus did many miracles in many cities. And then he started cursing them because they repented not. And Jesus told this guy who he healed. He's like, hey, sin no more. Lest a worse thing come upon you. These people don't heed. And he said, he started cursing those cities where his greatest miracles were done. And he said, hey, you know what? The judgment day, you're going to be worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. That means you're going to hell because Sodom and Gomorrah is judged to be hell already. And the judgment is going to be worse for you. Where I did more, more miracles, where I poured out more grace and more, uh, more energy, more effort on you to grow. I mean, I did miracles free. I make you grow. And then where is the fruit? You fruitless trees, I'm going to cut it down and throw it into the fire. In a few years, I'm going to, I'm going to see whether you bear fruit or not. If you don't, cut it down, throw it into the fire. And there will be many doses. But Lord, Lord, did we not do these things? Did we not do that? Oh, did we not go to church? Did we not, don't we believe in you? And Jesus will say to you, I never knew you. Who you are. You who practice wickedness. You who practice laws. You who don't live by faith. Faith without action is dead faith. You ain't going nowhere. Change your ways. And how to get back, I told you, fast and pray. And this is the will of God. The Holy Spirit wants you to fast. The Holy Spirit hates your fleshly will, that your soul is driven to the flesh. I'll oh, eat, eat, eat. Don't do that. Don't, no, don't, don't follow God. Don't follow God. Oh, but do follow the world. Do love the world. Oh, love your video games, love your entertainments, love your porn, love your sexual immorality, love your sexual girlfriend, boyfriend that you're sleeping around with. Love them. Love the world. Everything's going well for you. Oh, you know, you have money, whatever. That's your flesh. And God hates the flesh. The flesh, the desires of the flesh is an enmity against God. It makes you an enemy of God. Your flesh is. So kill your flesh. Crucify it daily by fasting and praying and seeking the word, reading the word. Oh, but I'm hungry when I'm... Of course it's hungry. 
Of course, that's why you need to read the Word of God more than one hour, and you won't be hungry. But nobody, nobody listens. I tell these people, do this, do that. They don't listen. They think I'm a joke. A lot of people think I'm just joke, joking around. I'm not joking around. I receive my blessing. I receive my miracles because I know how God and I follow God and I try to please Him. Set your heart always to please God and God will do everything for you. Why aren't you doing that? Please, why aren't you doing it? You know, time is running out, guys. Time doesn't stop for you. So what is childlike thing? Okay, let me explain a little bit. Okay, if you heard from a teacher, prophet, um, preacher, whatever, they teach you something, and then you read the Bible and check. Be like the Bereans who study themselves approved. Okay, they be like the Bereans who study whether the things that the Paul has spoken is according to scripture or not. They, them, they themselves did the study. They did them, themselves tried it and, and found out whether this prophet is true or not. Whether this prophecy was true or not. Whether this teaching was true or not. They themselves read, read the Bible and studied and found, oh, wait a minute. The Bible does say, oh, God does say this thing. Oh, God does like these things. Oh, God does, oh, yeah, want you to fast. Oh, God does want you to pray in tongues. Oh, God does want you to do this and that. Be like the Berean. Okay? Yeah, you have to be like child. First, listen, have an ear to hear. You have two ears, one mouth. So instead of speaking out your own, own dumb opinion from one brain, listen first. And then see if it's true or not. If it's false, don't do it. If, it, if it's, you found it, oh, it's true, do it. Very simple. Gospel is not hard. You just need to kill your flesh with the Holy Spirit. It's impossible to do it by yourself. But with God, every time you ask the Lord, help me. Help me, Holy Spirit. You converse with Him constantly. Holy Spirit, what should I do? What should I do? It's not working. Holy Spirit. Help me, help me, help me. And you go through everything. And once you're prayed up in the Spirit, where your life is pleasing the Lord, not pleasing the people, then God will work for you. And all things are yours then. Because then you belong to Christ. Where is that? Uh, it's in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, um, 21. Therefore, let no man glory in men. Don't, don't look for the glory in men, or don't glory in men, you know, for all things are yours, whether Paul, or Apollos, Cephas, or the world, or life, or death, or things of present, or things to come, all are yours, and you are Christ, and Christ is God's, amen, so if you belong to Christ, all things are yours, why are you worried, the only reason why you're worried is because you're not pleasing God, you're not doing your prayer, you're not fasting, you're not seeking God, you're not trying to please God, but you're trying to please yourselves all day long. So nothing works for you. You're like a Christian that's like a loser Christian. You know, a Christian that always loses the battles and say, oh, God knows. Oh, God, God, God knows. God knows, yeah, how much you're wicked and, and living for your own self, not living for God. God knows. Yes, you're right. God knows how wicked and desperate your heart is. He, he, he knows how unrepentant you are, how unwilling to become humble as a little child. You, you st you're staying stubborn. You're staying stubborn. You're, you're heaping up wrath in the last days. You're heaping up wrath. And about the date setting stuff, September, December, whenever, okay? If you read the Bible, almost all the prophets, except very, very few never gave out dates, period. Listen, never gave out dates, period. Jesus himself said, I don't know. Only the Father knows the time. Hey, even Jesus don't even know. How are you saying that? So discern. Amen? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, 
We come before you, Father, cover us the blood, just forgive us of our sins. And Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bind every divine experience by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. That was you get out of us. Get out of us in Jesus' name. Satan, you get out in Jesus' name. Father God, send them angels of God to protect us in Jesus' name. Protect our families and friends. Help us to be saved and also save others. Father God, in Jesus' name, we just ask that your Holy Spirit intervene for each one of us in Jesus' name. Bless us spiritually, physically, financially. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you. Jesus loves you.